Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. A solution is a homogeneous combination of compounds, which means they are uniform throughout and can't easily be separated back into their individual components. A solute is a substance that dissolves to form a solution, like this froze aid powder. But of course, a solute always needs somewhere to dissolve. So a solvent is a substance that can dissolve it. In the case of this refreshing froze aid, that's icy cold H2O. Remember that even though we often think about solids dissolving in liquids, solutions can also be solids, like bronze, or gases, like the air in our atmosphere. In order to dissolve, which is also called a solvation or dissolution, the different molecules of solute and the different molecules of solvent are pulled apart so new intermolecular forces between the solute and solvent can form. This charged up electric eel should remind you that this process happens due to electrostatic interactions, which are attractions or repulsions based on charge. Water is an effective solvent because it has a partial negative charge near the oxygen and a partial positive charge near the hydrogens, meaning it can pull apart most polar molecules. Any solution where water is the solvent is called an aqueous solution, and you may have noticed that these are pretty common in chemistry and the kitchen.